Howdy there in YouTube land. Um, what I have here is a Mackie 1402 VLZ Pro, which is a 14 channel mixing console. Complaint with this one was they spilled something in the board and it doesn't work anymore. Well, I took the board apart and did some close inspection and I cannot find any evidence of you know foul play in that regards however there was a little bit of corrosion in these contacts so it's possible it has been exposed to moisture at one time so I took a toothbrush and cleaned it off so uh, I decided to do that first and then I powered up um, the unit and I noticed there was no power at all so the next thing I did was I checked the fuse so <laughs> here's something funny power power if that wasn't obvious, then I guess that's even more obvious. So I pulled the fuse and the fuse was good. Then I decided to check the primary winding of the power transformer and it was open. So uh, I decided to disassemble the transformer to see if there's a thermal fuse and there is none. So that transformer is wide open. No good. Then I decided to attach my split rail uh, settings up on the power supply as where the transform would normally go because there's the schematic it has a positive and negative 16 volt output which means the transformer has to be at least 18 because those those regulators are not low voltage dropout uh, and then we run into the same problem I first powered it on uh, this guy was excuse me 18 volts and this was down to about 6.2 volts on the negative rail I'm like well what the heck and I noticed I smelled something burning you may be able to see it down in there but uh there's a good channel there's two little ceramic capacitors in the um oh crap I hate when that happens mind blank. There's two ceramic capacitors, bypass capacitors in the op amp circuit, the 2068 op amp. But if you look at the next one over, you see how it's brown? I pulled that capacitor out. That's where the smoke was going. Here we go again. Another shorted bypass capacitor. And there's the original cap. I pulled it out. Actually, that's a speck of dirt. That's the capacitor. I pulled it out and the rail voltage just went away. Or the rail voltage short went away. So let's do a power up test. 18.3 volts. I've got some segments out, and those use the ICL series chips, and they're common for that crap. We're idling at about 270 milliamps, 280 milliamps per rail. Uh, here we go. This was the affected channel. enough of that I don't need to get kneecapped by the copyright Nazis uh, that's what I'm using as a test rig it's just a cheap ass um, practice amp that actually was found in the garbage and there was nothing wrong with it you'd be amazed what people throw away so uh, yeah I got solo mode so I can just get an accurate reading of the VU meter without having to mess with the masters the mains uh, went through all the channels everything appears to be working so there's no other failures uh, the only thing that came up was that bad capacitor again another case of those little multi-layer ceramic capacitors shorting out I mean I've, I've seen so many of those it's ridiculous and it, there's no other apparent failures there's no semiconductor failures or anything it's just those capacitors but that doesn't solve this problem what am I going to do about that I cannot find this power transformer anywhere so it's pretty much hosed regardless and the only reason why I say that is it has the dual center tap or well a single center tap dual voltage supply 18 positive negative 18 volts that's not a problem I can buy those transformers all day long but not only that it also has a 48 volt or 50 volt tap for the phantom power which is the microphone power to the preamps inside microphones 
because you might have an, a, a dynamic mic or an electret mic that's a long run there's a preamp on the end of the microphone so it sends power down the cable that's the 48 volt phantom power well that comes off the tap one of the taps so I would lose if I just replaced that with a generic transformer I would lose phantom power I wouldn't be able to have that the phantom power would have to be external so I don't know what to do about that I did some eBay searching and stuff like that and I can't find that transformer so yeah we're pretty much hosed yeah there's the part number of the transformer so I disassembled the transformer to see if I could find that little fuse but I can't it's a Mackie Let's see, it's a Mackie 600-015-00 transformer. So yeah, all it takes, one capacitor, drops the rail voltage, and burns the transformer out. And it didn't even blow the fuse. So yeah, there you go. Uh, that's it for this video. I might have another video coming up. I've got a bunch of Macintosh portable motherboards I have to fix because some of them have no sound, some of them have erratic voltage on the 12 volt boost and you know just stuff like that so I might have some videos up on that but uh, thank you for watching